Hi, welcome to Knit with Hannah. Today I'm going to help you do some speedy French knitting. Hi, welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah. I'm here with Knitting Natter to help you learn to knit the easy way. And we're doing speed knitting today and the most important thing to remember is that we're using our French knitting spool. So, if you think, oh, this is taking me ages, it's growing quite fast but I wish I could do it faster, I've got a tip for you that's going to just help you think about knitting with your spool in a very similar way to how you might knit with your needles. That's what I've done, I've just thought, now what do I do to speed up my current knitting when I'm using flat needles and how can I use those methods in my French knitting as well. So I hope that's going to be helpful for you. Let's get to it, let's see some speedy knitting. You can speed knit with your French knitting loom just as you can speed up your knitting when you're knitting with two needles. And when I'm knitting with two needles, I am holding the yarn, and I'll just pick up this knitting here. Your, I tend to hold the yarn with my right hand and I don't have to worry about letting go of the needle. It's just sitting there constantly. So. I've wound that yarn around my hand, there's a good tension with it, it's underneath the finger, fingers and that means that I don't have to keep dropping it and picking it up, dropping it and picking it up, using the needle and picking up the yarn. So that is what I want to recreate with this French knitting idea of speeding up. I'm going to always hold the um, pointing needle with my right hand. And you can obviously switch this over if you're knitting and you're holding it with your left hand. Just um, switch around what we're doing here. So we can loop the yarn around your fingers as well. And this is what I do here. I have it looped underneath and over my little finger and underneath the other fingers. And then the forefinger, the index finger is in charge of the yarn that does the knitting. So what I'm going to do is just sit here and show you how that speeds up my knitting. I haven't got to think about where the yarn is, it's already there. And it just means that as I move the um, French knitting doll, the yarn is there ready for me. It's an automatic movement to move the doll. And then it's an automatic movement. And now I can sometimes actually start to just move the yarn and the doll at the same time with my left hand so my right hand doesn't even have to get involved other than picking the stitches up and pulling from the end of the strand there you go so do you see how simple that is it's just reducing the movements and making it easier instead of placing one stitch moving the loop over placing the next stitch moving the loop over placing the next stitch and moving the loop over. I've actually created it so that it places the stitch already for me. And I'm moving the knitting doll with my left hand as well. And all this right hand has to do is pick the loop over, create the next stitch, and just occasionally pull this out as well. If you don't keep pulling this, what you're going to have is stitches moving up and up and up these loops and that's when you're more likely to drop a stitch. So remember to keep putting the um, tube through the end of the knitting doll like that. There you go. I hope that makes it easier for you and you can speed knit. You can get things knitted faster than you ever imagined. Great, you're gonna really gonna fly through your knitting now like Speedy Gonzales. Give me a thumbs up if you liked that one, and I will see you next week. Do hit subscribe and click on the notifications bell over here um, if you've enjoyed this video and if you'd like to see more um, videos all about knitting. I'm here every Tuesday, every week. I will see you next Tuesday. Bye for now. Happy knitting. Uh -huh.